Hi everyone. Now you've clicked on this link because you're wondering, can I use pivot tables to display accounts in Excel? Or maybe you're wondering how to view monthly received and expenses in Excel. Well, if that's so, then you're in the right place because in this Excel accounts tutorial, we will look at how to use a pivot table to view accounts. My name's Simon, a real life Excel trainer, and this is Computer Tutoring. Okay, so if you've been following along, and this is the sixth, I believe, in the series of easy accounts tutorials in Excel, you will have created this spreadsheet. Now, if you don't have a copy of it, no problem, I'll give you the link so you can follow along down below. Before creating your pivot table, I recommend you first know how to create tables in Excel. This will make updating pivot tables easier. Create a table, click once on any cell. So I'm just clicking over here on this 5% for lunch just here. And then go up to the home tab at the very top just here. Just here. And then click on format as table just on the right hand side here. So you can now choose any format that you want. So I'm going to choose one of the gray formats here, this light gray table style medium 11. Um, you can see then the box that appears here, it says format as table. It has all of the data automatically selected and make sure my table has headers is ticked. Click on OK. And now you can see your table in Excel. And now we're going to give our table a name. Why give your table a name in Excel? Well, you give your table a name to make it easier to identify. So let's do that. Make sure you click anywhere in your table and then up at the top, just making sure you've got the table design tab selected. Do that. And then on the left hand side, you can see the table name box, which at the moment says table one. I'm just going to double click to select table one and call that accounts data. It doesn't like spaces. Numbers must be put at the end and stay away from any funny characters. Let's zoom back. And there we have it. We have named our table. Do tables speed up your data in Excel? Yes, they do. So you should be using tables to speed up your spreadsheet. So why should you use tables to create pivot tables in Excel? As said before, tables make updating pivot tables easier. Okay, so let's get on and create our pivot table. So what I want you to do is click anywhere inside your data here. So I'm just clicking on the 5% in cell C11, but you can click anywhere. You can see the date table design tab is available at the top. So just click on that there at the top, as you can see. And then we can click on the button that says summarize with a pivot table. Oops, I've got the wrong one here. There we go, summarize with pivot table. Give that a click and then this create pivot table dialog box appears where you can see the accounts data table. It's automatically picked that up. So what we just need to do is click on OK and hey presto, there is your pivot table. So now we have created our pivot table. Let's answer the how to easily view monthly received and expenses uh, in Excel. So firstly, I'm just going to move myself just along a little bit, get myself out of the way there. And let's say if I want to see how much money that I made, I'm just going to drag the received down in, into values. And then if you look on your pivot table over here, you can see the total amount of money I've received. That's 78,660. But now I'm interested in the monthly amount because I want to know the monthly received. So what I'm going to do is take the date column, if I just zoom in a little bit here, and drag date all the way down in, into rows. You can see here that I've got, I've dragged date into rows and I've got received into values. And you can see the data is automatically separated into different components just here. This is known there as a hierarchy. So I've got years, quarters, and dates. So let's just go into our pivot table here. I'm just going to zoom in using the little zooming in bar here. That's brilliant. That's good. So just make the spreadsheet bigger. Now I want to see the months and the year. So I'm going to right click on any year here. I'm going to go down to and go to group and click on group. So I'm going to click on group here. Now, as I said, I'm interested not in quarters. So I'm going to remove quarters and just make sure months and years are selected. You click once to select and click again to deselect. I then click on OK. 
Let's just zoom back. And now I can see this is how much money I've made or received each month. So how can I easily see a summary of expenses in Excel? Well, first I will copy and paste the pivot table. So I'm just going to go and select A3 all the way down to the bottom of the pivot table here and control C to copy. Now I like to leave a gap between my pivot table. So I'm just going to miss out the C column here, click in D3 and then control and V to paste the pivot table. Now let's just go into our pivot table fields here on the right hand side. Now I'm not interested in the number received. So let me just get rid of that. I'm interested in the expense. I'm going to drag expenses down like so. I'm not interested in the years or the dates. So I'm going to drag in out years and dates. And I'm going to drag description down into rows. If I look at my pivot table now, I'm almost there because I can see how much I spent on gloves and how much on lump, lunch and how much on weed killer. But I'm also seeing my customers and I don't want to see that. So I can use the pivot table filters here. So I'm going to click on this drop down list to filter a pivot table. I'm going to go down to and choose value filters. And then I'm going to go down to and choose less than because all of my expenses are negative numbers. So when I click on less than, I'm going to type a zero in there. I'm going to click on OK. And now I can see a summary of my expenses. So it's starting to look good. There's just two things that we need to do. The first is answering the how to filter two pivot tables at the same time question. Before we do that, we're going to change the format of numbers in a pivot table. We need to change the currency formats in these pivot tables. So this is how you do it. You're going to go over a pivot table and right click on the number that you want to change the format of. We're going to go down to and click on value field settings. In the value field settings box, we're going to click on number format at the bottom. And then I'm going to choose accounting. If you need to change the currency symbol, then you can do so on the right hand side using the symbol drop down menu. And then we're going to click on OK at the bottom and again. And now you can see that's changed to currency. Let's do the same again with the uh, summary of expenses pivot table. Go down to value field settings number formats, currency, sorry, accounting, OK, OK. And now we have changed the format of the numbers in a pivot table to currency. Finally, let's answer the how do I filter two pivot tables at the same time question. We're going to do that by means of a slicer. How do you create a slicer in Excel? Well, this is how you do it. We're going to click on the pivot table here. So notice I've just clicked anywhere on this pivot table. And then we're going to click on the pivot table analyze tab at the top. And then we're going to go along and click on this insert slicer button. Now notice the insert slicers dialog box appears and I can choose which slicer I want to add. Basically, I'm asking how do I want to filter this pivot table? I'm going to choose date and then click on OK. And you can see it's added a slicer in with the months of the year. So when I click on Jan, you can notice that this pivot table is filtered by the button I press on this slicer. But also notice if I move the slicer out of the way, it doesn't filter the summary of expenses pivot table. So how do I get this slicer connected to both pivot tables to control both pivot tables? Well, first I'm going to click on this clear button. I just like to clear the slicer and then going to make sure that I've got the slicer tab selected at the top and go all the way to the left until I see report connection and click on report connection. So now I've got the report connections box. Um, I'm going to uh, check the second pivot table. So make sure your pivot table numbers might be different. Just make sure they're both selected and click on OK. Now this slicer controls both the pivot tables. I can click on January and see all the sales for January. I could hold down the control key on the keyboard and click on March so I can see January and March's sales or I could hold down the control key and hold drag with the mouse to select multiple months if I want to. If I want to clear it all, I can click on the clear selection button or the clear the filter button. So I hope you're okay in following along. 
So the answer to the question, can I use pivot tables to display accounts in Excel is yes, of course you can. You can also use pivot tables to display a summary of expenses in Excel. Now, in the next tutorial, we will look at the financial year because I, ne I hear your question. You're saying, Simon, this is great, but my financial year starts in April through to March. So how do I deal with this in a pivot table? And that's what exactly what we're going to look at next time. So if you haven't already done so, please click on the subscribe button and then click on the notifications button so you don't miss it. If you are using Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, then reach out to us. It would be great to hear from you. And if you've got anything out of this pivot table tutorial, give me a thumbs up. It means so much. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. So I just hope everyone's keeping safe. And I want to say thank you so much for watching.